My name is Andreas. I am Norwegian and moved down here to Brazil in 2006 to start a new life in a place that I do consider to be paradise. My biggest passion is kitesurfing, but I have also opened up a business, a bed and breakfast here, where I cater to both the locals and international travelers who want to experience this wonderful part of the world. Welcome to the Brazilian Expat. Good morning and a very welcome back to part two of my day-to-day -day life running a bed and breakfast here in Brazil. Now I was hoping to post this episode earlier, however, I've had a bit of bad luck to say the least these last couple of weeks. So about a month ago I got a serious ear infection that incredibly turned into a throat infection later on. And apart from that, when working on the table outside on my veranda, I managed to get a splinter on the outside of my thumb that I wasn't able to remove. And this turned into a nasty infection that I had to go to the hospital to remove. Now, if you are squeamish, then please close your eyes right now. As you can see, there was a big hole left in my thumb, but thankfully I didn't really need stitches. It, I just put a bandage on it and it actually healed up quite nicely. So they actually were able to remove all of the infected skin and area and also remove the splinter, of course. And overall, right now I am back in, in pretty good shape. But anyways, it is safe to say that I've been immobilized these last couple of weeks, but luckily my staff has taken really good care of the business while I've been sick. And if you remember from the first episode where we were tearing down the grill area by the pool, now this is now finally complete and I think it turned out amazing. Now I'm gonna show you guys how that turned out later in this video, but if you notice the beautiful images in the intro of this video, I have made another really fun investment and that is a drone. Now I've had a drone earlier, however, after about three years of flying, I got a little bit too cocky and I actually lost it in the sea, but the technology has come such a far away now. And these drones nowadays, they are just in a different league than the drones that I bought in 2018. And the reason for this investment is not primarily just for fun, but it will be a powerful marketing tool for the bed and breakfast. Our Instagram account has grown quite substantially these last couple of years. And the idea now is to boost our YouTube channel also. Now, one thing that still hasn't changed since my last video is the heavy and constant rain here. We are still in the rainy season and unfortunately the rain is causing a lot of headaches. We've had a couple of power outages and right now this city is in the process of rebuilding the main road coming into the city of Paracuru. Now this is a huge project and all of the old asphalt has been removed and will be replaced by stone bricks. This has been going on for almost half a year now and by all means it will look great when it's finished. The issue however is that since they have stripped off all of the asphalt, the ground soil that is exposed to the heavy rains turns into a muddy swamp and just causes a total traffic chaos, especially during rush hour. And also since we recently celebrated Easter here, we had an influx of tourists that really don't know the city very well. And with, with all of the construction and detours, it turned into a complete chaos with people getting stuck in deep potholes and driving into one-way streets, causing hazardous situations. Because you see, they don't really put up a lot of signs and there's just not a lot of information about the detours and alternative roads that you need to take, unfortunately. And also the guests staying here at our bed and breakfast, they didn't have the greatest experience because the rains were just relentless during the entire weekend of Easter. Of course, this is something that is completely out of our control, but I find that this year has been extremely wet with much more rains than we usually see this time of the year. 
But anyways, progress is being made at the property regardless of the rains. And in this episode, I really want to show you what has been done since the last video. And of course, what we are currently working on. And lastly, of course, the future plans for the business. And I really want to start with showing you what we are doing in the backyard that is actually part of my private property. Now, in my last episode, I explained in detail of what the plans are for this area. So I suggest you watch that episode first so you can really understand what I'm talking about. But anyways, I'm not going to waste more of your time by talking. So let's get right into it. So I want to quickly explain how everything is set up here at this property because obviously not all of you have watched my previous episodes where I explain into detail how everything is set up here. It's kind of important for me to explain this because it just makes it a lot easier for you guys to understand what's actually going on. So basically the property, it sits at a corner and I got two entrances. One entrance is the main entrance for all of the guests. And when you go around the corner, then you got another, a second entrance to the property, but that comes into my private property. So that is my private residency, which is totally separate from the business itself. So this room right here that I'm standing in right now, we actually have two of these rooms and they are officially a part of my private property. They're not part of the business at all. Right behind this wall here is another room that is actually a part of the bed and breakfast and that is officially a part of the business. You can say that the property has divi been divided straight down the middle of the main building where we have our bed and breakfast, all of our rooms. So I know it sounds kind of confusing, but I'll try to explain that a little bit later. But anyways, officially this room here that we have two of, they are not officially a part of the business. So this right here is the main entrance to my private property. And this was a room which I was just standing in. It is one of two rooms. This is one and the other one is right there. And as you come all the way to the end through that opening right there, all the way to the end, all of this is my private property, okay? But behind that wall is officially the business, the bed and breakfast. So if you can just try to imagine where that wall is, an imaginary line that runs through the entire property, okay? Everything on this side here is my private property. Everything on the other side behind that wall is the business, the bed and breakfast, if that makes sense at all. So as soon as you walk into this door here, right in here, you're officially inside the bed and breakfast, the business. So whenever I close this door here, I am completely isolated to the business. These rooms is not something that I'm going to use at all for myself. Okay. So my apartment is up, not on the first, but on the second floor. That's where I'm building my own apartment. That is going to be my home. That is where I'm going to stay. Okay. So this is just basically for me to park my car right here. And these rooms, these two rooms here, I do intend to rent these out. However, they will not officially be a part of the bed and breakfast. This is something that I can rent out offline when the demand is really high i can choose to rent out these whenever i want and i can close them off and do whatever i want with them is just basically a source of extra income but of course if i do get a family visiting or a lot of friends or whatever of course i can let them stay here as well but they're primarily they're all going to be refurbished because as you can see It really, they need a lot of work. You can see all the paint hair peeling off and and uh, it's basically just the fridge and then you have this bunk bed here. So everything is gonna be refurbished. Everything is gonna be, here is a bathroom. Okay, you got a shower. It's just a simple small bathroom. It's a nice small room, but I'm sure after I refurbish everything, make everything super nice, then this room here is gonna be super easy to rent out. And um, it's just as easy as even when I rent out and have these, I can just leave this door open. So the guests don't know that this is part of my private property. I can just let them go straight in there. They can use the pool. They can stay in the garden. They can go up, eat breakfast, everything. It will be just for the guests 
it will be just like they're staying at the bed and breakfast. There will be absolutely no difference at all. The only thing is that I am the only person who will officially know that they're actually staying at my private property. Okay, so I hope all of that makes sense and I <laughs> managed to explain that somehow. Okay, so just let me quickly explain what has been going on since the last episode. So what we have done here, you can see previously this was all open, open air, okay? So we poured this concrete slab right here a, roughly four or five months ago. And uh, the reason for that is obviously so I can have a covered parking when I park my car here whenever it rains and the sun doesn't doesn't beat down on it. So it's just basically that was the main idea. But of course, I'm going to utilize this space. I'm going to do some construction on top of that. And I'll show you what I'm planning to do on top of this on top of this roof here. What we've been doing these last couple of months is installing these concrete pillars here because um, when he installed this concrete slab, it was actually not designed to build anything on top. It would not hold the weight. So that is why we've actually, these last couple of weeks, we've put in this one, two, three, and this column number four right in the middle here. And that is going to support the entire weight. So I'm able to construct on top of this concrete slab here without worrying that anything will <laughs> fall down or at least some uh, structural damage in the future. So, and you might ask why on earth I put a column smack in the middle here? Um, because obviously I would have space for one, two, uh, at least three smaller cars, maybe two bigger pickup trucks. But the thing is, this is all my private par property anyways, and I don't see the point in even, you know, my girlfriend, if we move in together, then if you have two cars, it's just going to be a hassle because if I park my car in here and I want to get out, you know, she has to move her car anyways out. So for me, it's just going to be a lot of hassle. So for me, one parking space here, that's that's enough. And also, as you can see, you might already guess what's coming here, okay? So you see this line here. This obviously is going to be a wall. It's going to be, be uh, constructed a wall here all the way to the top. So this smaller room here, they will have like a small space here, you know, a small chill out space, almost like a small veranda here. It will be private. So every single room here will sort of have their privacy. And basically here, you will just have a small corridor going through here, and then I can go straight in up to my, to my apartment. And another advantage by doing this is that if I do want, still want my privacy here, then I can opt to let this room just stay empty, but I can rent out this room. Obviously there will be a wall up here, so he will be totally <laughs> almost out of sight and I can park my car here. I can go straight into this corridor, straight in and up to my apartment. I don't really need to interact with him either. So this uh, this smaller room here, that can actually be rented out continuously. And if I want some privacy, I just le let this room here stay empty. And when the demand is high and I want to have some extra income, I can always rent out this room. I can park on the street or, you know, especially the holidays when you have new years and you have carnival you have easter there's a really high demand and th this room just a small room like this will bring me a lot of extra revenue i'm flexible i have the options you know i can i can choose whatever i want to do so and um, this pillar right in the middle here this is going to carry the majority of load because on top of this there's actually going to be built another wall that's going to go straight down the middle and um, i thought we'd go up to the second floor so i can show you in detail how that is going to look okay so now you can probably get in a better idea what i was talking about earlier about that imaginary line so if you have a look at this door here that is currently open so on this side all of this is my private property all of this is the business the bed and breakfast okay so this wall here this actually divides the two properties so as soon as you enter this door you're officially in the bed and breakfast okay and um, you, when you come up the stair here then you have these two are the biggest 
superior rooms. These are our biggest rooms and the most expensive rooms, obviously. And they're very popular, especially with the foreigners. And we make a lot of money on these rooms here, okay? So out of that door, you have a big spacious veranda as well, looking down in the garden and everything. And when we come on the other side here, and this is the concrete slab. So earlier, I was underneath here. The reason that we are enforcing this with all of these columns is because this part here is going to be divided i'm going to put a wall it's going to come straight down the middle here and we're going to have the wall is going to be all the way to the end here it's going to be roughly one and a half meters high so obviously so people can't fall over to the neighbor and the reason for that is this obviously is going to be removed we're going to remove these tiles and we're going to put a new flooring here and it's going to go all the way to the end so for these big rooms here besides having the big veranda on the outside looking down the garden they also have in the backyard they will have also a big space here where i'm not 100 percent sure exactly how it's going to look but i figure putting up a hammock putting some plants or just making a nice lounge area for these rooms here okay and uh, obviously the wall is going to come straight down the middle and there's going to be just like an opening like an arch so both of these rooms there will have their privacy obviously this room here whenever these guests staying at this room here they will obviously have to pass this room here so it's not that ideal but still it's just one room you know one set i guess so i think it'll still be a very popular area so that is the whole idea why i need to reinforce these with all of these columns so you have one column in the end one column here and then one small column right in the middle and then you have the big column that stands roughly where that brick is so all of that is reinforcing this nicely and in the future i don't have to worry about any structural damage all of this will hold its weight and um, when everything here is done i think it's gonna look absolutely fantastic also the plan is to extend this roof around halfway here because the rains the winds they always come from that direction in here when you have these strong winds here the winds they actually blow the rain so the rain actually hits this wall roughly this height and it gets all wet the rain it actually comes into the rooms so to solve that problem i actually want to extend this roof here it's going to go roughly halfway okay so that also means that we have to have some pillars here just to support the weight of the roof and obviously that is also a reason why we need all of these support columns so i know it's it's a lot of it's a lot of information but i i hope uh, i explained somewhat uh, in a manner that you can understand so guys if you watched my previous video you guys probably remember i was tearing down the uh, grill area here by the pool just uh, making a new seating area sort of a, a chill out place uh, lounge progress has been really good i think it turned out awesome it's basically 99 percent complete there's just a few details left but uh, i'm gonna show you here give you the big reveal and uh, you guys let me know what do you think? This is it. I think it turned out really, really nice. It was quite a big project, but uh, the guy, the guy who did this for me, he's actually one of the best in town. That's my opinion. He works really fast, and he also has an eye for detail. And all of this was my idea, but he immediately understood exactly how I wanted it. And it turned out exactly as I wanted it. Usually uh, these guys, you know, it's hard to, when you got an idea in your head to make other people understand exactly how you want it. Uh, sometimes it can be become a challenge and it doesn't, you know, the end result doesn't uh, turn out exactly how you imagine it, but this turned out exactly how I wanted it. And, it looks absolutely amazing, in my opinion. Uh, 
the grill was just behind this post. This is where the grill was earlier. And of course we had like a, a mini kitchen right here. On the other side, These are all supports for hammocks. So you got one support, it'll go there and it'll connect over to there. But you can put up two hammocks, so you have two side by side. So you got one and two, and they're all connected to the same post right here. It's a really nice place. You got your privacy here, right? So you can sit here, enjoy in the shade when the sun is out and it's all private, surrounded by plants. And you also got a power outlet, so you can plug in your phone, chill out, watch on Netflix. And I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So I'm really happy about this. If it only would stop raining, that'd be nice. Now, I told you that everything here is 99% complete. There's just a few details. And the most important detail is obviously this right here. Uh, here I gotta buy another plant. So I'm gonna buy another plant, put this one here, and hopefully that's gonna grow big. And it's even, it's gonna catch the sunlight here, at least until, until noon, until midday. So that should thrive absolutely fine right in there. And uh, I even made a, it's not connected yet to the water, but but this is basically to just irrigate the plant so you don't have to carry around the hose. You just open that one. It's gonna be connected to the main water supply line and uh, just make it easy just to water the plant. So that is one thing that has to be done. This light here, this light used to be a light that we used to illuminate when we had the grill just because usually we do all the barbecuing at night, nighttime when it's dark. So it's just a light for there. And it's in an awkward place. I'm gonna move that right here in the middle. So you got three spots. So you'll have one spot going to the plant, one in the middle, and then one will illuminate this. So, so this at nighttime, this whole place will be nicely illuminated. So I'm, that's why I got my tools right here. So I'm just gonna move that one in the middle and then spread out the lights there. There is always one screw that's rusted that doesn't want to come out. It's just typical. I got the light off, so that's good. Um, I wanna change out this wiring here, it's really old. So I gotta go to the hardware store, get some more wires and electrical tape also. Maybe clean up this lamp a little bit. But another thing, this lamp here is like, I don't like this. I wanna put a more decorative lamp. I figured we can, Take a ride to this place. It's really cool shop that I know. Now this place is actually like an arts and craft store where they make everything by hand. They make these awesome lamps. I mean, this place, they got everything, pottery, all types of art. I'm gonna show you here all the stuff that I bought from this store here. It's actually not in this city, it's actually in the next city. So we, we need to take a ride. It's around 30 minute drive to get there, but their store is really, really cool. I mean, there's so much cool stuff there. When you come into the store like this, uh, you become crazy. You wanna buy everything, but obviously you gotta, like the only thing that I need is this lamp right here. So that's the one I wanna change. I wanna find a really, really nice lamp that will complement this new area. But I'm gonna show you here these other stuff that I bought. So 
with these lamps that are on the wall here, this one, this one, and this one, that are bought from that store. And I, I got a bunch of other lamps up up on the by the kitchen area as well. And they are seriously cool. They're all homemade, just made out of wood sticks. And but they look super cool. And I love stuff like that. Stuff that's homemade arts and crafts. And um, so let's go and find a cool cool uh, replacement for this one here. I don't like this one. I want a much bigger one that will complement the space here. And also I gotta go to the hardware store, get some wiring, some electrical tape. And of course we need to put the plant there. I need to buy a plant, so. So let's hit the road. Seriously, this rain is driving me nuts. It's just destroying everything. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't wait for this season to be over. This year has been really strange. It's just been raining so much harder and so much longer than the previous years. You know, the previous years, at least we had, I mean, we had heavy monsoon rains and it would rain for maybe an hour and then the rest of the day will be sunny at least. Uh, we even had some nice days with wind, you know, where it was possible to do some surfing, some kite surfing, which is the sport that, that I do, that I love the most. But there hasn't been like, there's been zero wind and it's basically been, it's been raining almost every single day, all night. And when it's not raining, it's still like overcast and there's no wind and it's just seriously humid and nothing dries i mean like everything at the bed and breakfast is all damp and moist you know all the surfaces and just it's you get like this uh, moldy smell in all the all of the rooms so you can't leave like you can't leave the the bed sheets and and you know all the pillows and everything for more than a couple of days inside the room because that's they'll start smelling like mold because there's just no circulation there's no fresh breeze coming through even though we leave all of the windows and doors open and it's just like i'm i'm taking probably five six showers a day changing out my clothes i'm, I'm doing laundry every single day because i don't have clean underwear i don't have clean shirts you know i'm just it's really strange. I never experienced something like this. I don't know if this is climate change or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It just sucks. I just want it to be over now. Uh, we've been in, uh, doing this for almost three months now. We're enough already. I want to have some sun, uh, get some wind, get some breeze, and so I can start painting again and uh, just uh, making the bed and breakfast new and fresh and get everything ready for the high season. But the way it looks now, it's not gonna stop anytime soon yet. And I think we got another month before it's gonna, you know, start to get better. But I'm, I'm really, I'm really tired. I mean, this is, I, I really want this season to end. It's never, I never imagined something like this before. 18 years living here and, and this year has been extreme. I've never seen this much rain and water before. Anyways, let's uh, hit the road. We're gonna go to that arts and craft store that I told you it's the next town over and it's gonna be roughly a 30 minute drive. So uh, let's just hit the road and get there. Now have a look at this sign that you see right here. It says Pont Sobri Uhiu Kuru, which basically translates into the bridge over the Kuru River. And this river actually runs out into the sea just west of the city of Parakuru. Now there is a shortcut to get to the city where we are currently heading. However, because of the heavy rains, 
the bridge that crosses the Kuru River on that road is actually flooded by the river and although there are some crazies who do risk driving across, I'm really not even gonna entertain the idea of crossing that bridge with my own car, so instead we are just taking a little detour. So here we are. Looks like we made it just in time because it looks like it's really gonna pour. We're done with rain in a couple of minutes here, so let's just head in and you're gonna see the coolest shop ever. At least I think so. I think they got so much cool stuff here. But the idea is to buy one or maybe two lamps. I gotta see what uh, what they have in stock and if I find something cool, for sure I'll, I'll buy it. So let's go have a look. Gotta be the coolest bench ever. Look at this, I love this stuff. Just love this stuff here. I got everything here. I mean, literally everything. Anything you can imagine that probably happened. Some fake fruits, fake avocados, <laughs> made of wood, fake cashew, cashew fruit, and it's cool. You got a bag of fake onions, so all made of wood. Seriously cool. This is something I think I want to get. These are like, these are fish scales. It's actually from fish. They remove these scales here. I don't know if they bleach them or what they do, but the lady, she told me it's actually fish scales and it looks really cool when uh, it's all illuminated. So, this is a bit too much. I think this one here, is gonna look perfect, so I'm gonna ask the price on that one. What? Quanto é essa aqui? Mas é praticamente igual dessa aqui, só um pouco menor, né? Se você ver a preço dessa aqui, só me dá um. Baixa o preço um pouquinho. Foi <risos> 450 
432 também, bem parecido. Quatrocentos e três, acontece? Quatrocentos e três? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is probably one of my favorite stores um, in the entire world. I love that store. It's like a kid going into a toy store. I just want to buy everything and I could just spend hours just going. There's so much in, in that store. It's incredible. And um, of course, the lady that works there, it's it's not hers. It's, it's just a collaboration of various artists and craftsmen you know around this this region here and of course she buys uh, she buys all of this art from different different people and and uh, resells them but her store is there's so much cool stuff there it's incredible of course this type of art isn't for everyone but I think uh, that type of art it really fits it it really complements all of the architecture and design that's already in my bed and breakfast so everything is is kind of rustic it has that old tropical um, rustic feel to it so i think all of the stuff that she has there it doesn't matter what it is it really it will complement any space in my bed and breakfast if that makes sense and that's why i love it i think it's super cool and that lamp that i bought there I, that is gonna look absolutely amazing i'm gonna you know we're gonna head back to the bed and breakfast i'm gonna install that and also that that half shape um uh, lamp that is uh mounted on the wall the other lamp that i bought um that is also gonna be in that space there and i think it's um it, it's really gonna look awesome so i can't wait so all i gotta do now is i'm gonna go back to the city i'm gonna go to the hardware store and i'm gonna just pick up some stuff i need some new wiring and just some electrical tape and uh, should i think also need a, a light socket and that should be good i should be good to go so let's get back get it all installed can't wait These are the two lamps that I bought. This lamp here, I'm gonna change out this one. So this one is going there. This one is gonna go up there. And of course I bought new electrical wiring, electrical tape, everything. So that is gonna be mounted in the middle there. And of course the plant. I just discovered there is a, it's actually a, a wasp's nest smack in the middle of this lamp. I hope 
I really hope nobody's home before I remove this hair. All right. I got the plant in place. The lights are centered. And of course, the lamps, I got my fire bulb. And I, it was a bit darker than I thought. I was hoping it would become a, just a little bit brighter. So I might have to put on some other lamps. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. But anyways, uh, this lamp turned out awesome. It's just a light bulb that simulates flames. That's it. Another project in the books. Happy with that. Good morning. Look at this beautiful weather. I can't believe the sun is out. It's been raining relentless these last couple of weeks and there's no wind, so I'm not going to be able to do any kite surfing, but luckily I got another toy that I can bring out and I thought I'd take my fat bike and do a little, do a little cycling in the uh, sand dunes that are right behind the city. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have my morning coffee and then I'm going to get off my bike and head over to the dunes. Also going to bring my drone, of course, and try to get some really nice shots. Um, the dunes, they're a beautiful place and and especially now during the heavy rains, you got a dozen of these small lagoons just dotted in between the big dunes. And it's become a huge tourist attraction. They take these beach boogies and they bring along uh, the tourist. They, um, they are registered, so they are allowed, they're actually allowed to drive on the dunes. So um, all they do is they, they pay an annual tax and because it's their profession, so they give them permission. Um, there's a certain amount of, of like, vehicles that are allowed at any one time to drive on the dunes so it's uh, very regulated and i think that's a good thing or uh, you know everybody would just be driving and tearing up the dunes so um it is a preserved area it's a beautiful area especially now during the the rainy season when the sun comes out there's all these small lagoons and all the tourists they take them out to these these small lagoons and and they can go swimming and um it's it's a really nice place uh, i'm gonna take my bicycle and of course that's allowed um, on motorized vehicles so i can go where, anywhere i want and it's a fat bike it's got these really big beefy fat tires and i can go anywhere basically with that bike it's uh, it's a really cool bike and it, it i use it a lot here especially it's really nice for riding on the dunes and and also on the beach and because we have had so much rain and I just want to really use the time when the sun comes out and just do something, just be active. And I need to do something. I need to, I need to get out, you know, and um, just enjoy myself a little bit. I can't just be, be working all day long every day. So I'm going to take a couple of hours now. I'm going to prep my bike and I'm going to head over to the dunes. I just need my morning coffee first so I'll see you soon
So guys, it was a really nice ride in the dunes. Of course, I got seriously sunburned. I never learned. I actually put on some sunscreen, but when you're out in the middle of the day in the sand dunes, you know, for two hours, uh, I, I probably didn't apply enough. I'm really burned. But anyways, guys, I thought I cut this video short, um, but as I promised in the very beginning of the video, I also want to talk very quickly about our future plans, what is going to happen in the next couple of months. And the room here that I'm currently in is the deluxe room. It is our second biggest room here at the bed and breakfast. And it has been recently refurbished, both of the rooms. The only thing that is left is actually the bathroom. And I'm going to show what we are going to be doing there. So as soon as we enter the bathroom, the problem comes apparent quite quickly. As you can see, these tiles here are totally different. The reason for this is when we actually constructed this bathroom here, I was traveling at the time. Um, the guy who was laying down the tiles, he actually called me and told me that they had run out of these tiles here. And so I trusted the guy uh, to find some very similar tiles obviously i should never have trusted him i should have just told him to stop what he was doing and wait till i get back but as you can see these tiles are just totally different he the guy who constructed this for some reason i don't know if he's colorblind or whatever but these tiles are just totally totally different you can see here and also you can see the um i don't know what you call this in english i'm i'm you can see the space between the ceramics here is I can almost put a finger in here and you can see here is done properly. So, and that's just because of the size of these tiles, I guess, that these are just a little bit smaller. So the space here, um, he had to make it a little bit larger and it, it looks ridiculous in my opinion. And for a room of this size, obviously they're one of our most expensive rooms and um, i just don't think it's fair for the client to to pay that much money and come into a bathroom that that really looks ridiculous in my opinion so this has been bugging me for quite a while and finally uh, now in may the next month we're gonna start tearing down everything and making everything new um i don't have 100 percent in my head i have an idea what i want to do but I really don't want to explain that here because my ideas tend to change a lot. So I might tell you that yeah, I'm planning I'm doing this and this and this. And then in my next episode, I show you the complete work when it's all done. It's going to be totally different and <laughs> it's not going to make sense. So I'm, I'm currently brainstorming a little bit of what I'm actually going to do in here. But uh, the only thing that I know for sure is it's going to look fantastic when it's all done. So um, there are two of these rooms here. OK, there is one room on the other side of this wall here as well. And um, starting from May, the first week in May, we already already got the guy who's going to do it. He's going to tear down everything. We're going to do everything new. Everything is going to be brand new in here and uh, it's gonna look fantastic and of course i'm gonna show you the end result there okay so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed that i really want to just cut this video short right here i think it's this episode has been long enough um i do hope you appreciated everything that i've shown you and of course please leave me a comment uh, about what you think um give me your opinion if you think it looks awesome if you have any other ideas um maybe something I could have done differently. Uh, it, I do enjoy reading all of your comments. It's actually one of the things I enjoy the most about creating YouTube channels is just to get feedback from you guys. Uh, I think it's awesome. So um, just to summarize, I just, as these two bathrooms here, hopefully we are finished with those at the end of May and come into June, that is, officially when the high season starts. So um, hopefully we have everything done by then. And, and of course, um, I do plan to upload another video in May, uh, hopefully sooner, but um, you know how it is. Hopefully I don't get sick anymore and um, I will remain healthy so I can uh, crack on and um, upload some more videos for you guys. 
So guys, just before I go, if you enjoyed my videos, give me a thumbs up. It's highly appreciated. And of course, if you haven't already done so, you know, consider subscribing to my channel as that really helps me out as well. If you want to get notified on future contents whenever I upload the next video, then remember to subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks, guys. It was a real pleasure to um, show you everything that's going on here in my life and at my business. And uh, as always, if you're ever thinking about taking a trip down to this wonderful place called Brazil, then I can guarantee you won't regret it. It's a beautiful place and um, I love every day. I'm blessed to to have this life down here in paradise. So there you have it, guys. Thanks a lot. Until next time, take care. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.